Live from Kensington Palace, Diana's home for over 15 years with an exclusive preview. You are in there before anybody else, Mark. Good morning. Now, this is an exhibition that really tells Good morning. Diana's story <laughs> and her fashion story, doesn't it? It does. Uh -huh. She was known as one of the most stylish royals and it really is celebrating that sense of style. With me now is Ellery Lynn. You're the curator here of Diana, her fashion story. Yeah, yeah. This must have been some exhibitions put together. Did you? It was incredible. So yeah. obviously 2017 marks 20 years since Princess Diana died. Sure. We wanted to celebrate her life and style. Mm. <clears throat> And fashion is such a good way to do that because mm -hmm. although she didn't like to be known as a clothes horse, she really understood the language of fashion yeah, she, yeah. and she used it to help her do her job. She knew how powerful it was. She I did. mean, like, talking of, of powerful dressing, they, I mean, this dubbed the Elvis dress, which yes. I have to say, I think is slightly unfair. Of course, um, it got dubbed the Elvis dress because of Presley's um, Las Vegas I jumpsuits. Did. I understand, yeah. I understand. Designed by Catherine Walker and uh, I mean, the amount of pearls on that. What are we, th we talking 20, about? 20,000 apparently, <gasps> and the weight is incredible. 20,000. This one, we all know, we can only call it the Travolta dress, yeah, can't we? Yeah, so absolutely. She, this was as she was spinning around the floor in Washington in this dress. If she'd have been wearing anything else, I don't think it would have had the same sort of impact. It's ruched velvet all the way to the thigh, but then there's such a huge amount of velvet here in the skirt so that when nice. she twirled, it just spun spun up in the air such. and just looked amazing. It really did, it really did. You've got such special pieces here, including there's a green silk velvet dress and the fabric was so delicate that it, it actually has, we think, fingerprints of from the princes, don't we, on, on there. When I first arrived in this room, this was the part that I actually found really quite sad because it is the last room. It's the end of the fashion story. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it is quite a sad, a sad room, but also some amazing, amazing pieces. Now, this dress here, this was, so from 1991, we saw her then move into more European design, Versace, this is an astounding dress. Look, Rihanna could wear this, couldn't she, to an award show now, and it would be dubbed a, one of the finest dresses ever worn. <laughs> Absolutely. It's really, it's got a contemporary edge to it. So um, Diana was a really proud ambassadress for British fashion, mm. but in the 90s she did start to experiment more with international designers, and Versace was a real favourite. Sure. But there's a lot about this that is sort of Liz Taylor and it Cleopatra. Is. There's a sort of power to very it. Um, and I think it, it's also, as you say, it's very contemporary. It shows that Diana had sort of um, yeah. gone beyond fashion. She yeah. had a sort of timeless style. She really did. Because that's the thing, uh, at the time, probably in the 90s, we'd have thought that was a flash in the pan kind of mm. dress, but it is a true classic. And she probably did that, in all honesty. This as well, a classic, you know, kind of tuxedo in this green velvet. She wore this to a private event, didn't she? But Correct. it's probably better known for this photograph here. And you've got these Mario Testino shots. Yes all around here and when you see them on this scale you just realize what a beautiful woman she was and and what a poignant shoot this was because it was a final one really wasn't it well that's right in um in 1997 diana sold 79 of her most mm. famous gowns at christie's for for charity yeah. um, and this photo shoot was to publicize that now obviously the press read that that she was closing a chapter on her royal life and style but this um photo shoot has become the sort of defining image yeah, we have of her yeah, and mario tessina recalls that she'd never looked more radiant incredibly iconic uh, and uh, an incredible exhibition as well hold on i'm sure the green to get yourself down here.